Hi everyone, I'm Chelsea, and the topic of my research project is top cancer fighting foods. A little bit of background, I have a personal interest in health, specifically through natural means like whole foods, vitamins, herbs, minerals, that kind of thing. I also have a close family member, my aunt, who was recently diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which also is a reason why I'm interested specifically in this disease. I'm also interested in the way our diet has contributed to this modern day disease that is so common now um, and wasn't so common uh, years ago. So I'm interested in how it can be treated through a return to good nutrition. The first study that I used was a study by Donaldson in 2004, which found that a diet low in processed sugars and flours, low in red meat, a diet with a balance of omega-3 and 6 ratio, diet rich in fruits and vegetables, high in fiber, high in allium and cruciferous vegetables, and rich in certain vitamins and supplements such as folic acid, B vitamins, chlorophyll, antioxidants, and probiotics all contribute to a decreased risk of cancer as well as play an important role in recovery from cancer. So that's pretty exciting. A study by Gonzalez in 2010 found that a diet rich in fish, fiber, vitamin D, low in red meat, low in processed foods and high in fruit, fruits and vegetables, low in saturated fats and rich in calcium all also contribute to cancer prevention. And then my last study that I looked at was one by Patel and Goyle in 2011, which found that uh, certain species of mushrooms actually have medicinal properties, which include anti-tumor, anti-cancer, antimicrobial, antioxidant, also antifungal, and immune boosting properties. Uh, so they've been used in traditional oriental medicine for a long time, and they've been regarded as top-notch cancer fighters. There are specific types of mushrooms, such as reishi, cordyceps, and mataki mushrooms that are specifically considered to be medicinal, and they can be used in cooking, or they can also be taken in supplement form. So my question is, which foods are the most beneficial when it comes to fighting cancer? My hypothesis was that some of the top uh, cancer-fighting foods would include organic berries because they're rich in antioxidants, green leafy vegetables such as spinach, kale, Swiss chard, and then cruciferous vegetables like cauliflower, uh, broccoli, maybe cabbage, um, are all those top anti-cancer foods. So I really enjoy following certain health blogs, and so I uh, found some of those that I respect and then, um, you know, like research cancer when I was on those blogs, and then I found some of the studies that they used to support the information that they had, and I made sure that I felt good about the sources. Um, they were ones that I could trust. Uh, they were credible. Um, so I, yeah, I, I tried to stay away from some of the sources that I had never heard of before or that just didn't quite seem trustworthy. So the results that I found were that foods rich in omegas are a top cancer fighting food. So that would include like salmon, avocados, nuts and seeds, um, and then certain unrefined oils such as coconut oil, um, extra virgin olive oil, those kind of oils, they're all rich in omegas. And then foods high in chlorophyll, so that would be your green leafy vegetables like spinach, Swiss chard, kale, um, all those dark green leafy vegetables. And then mushrooms, as the one study mentioned, and then specific re specifically reishi, cordyceps, and mataki mushrooms have some of those medicinal properties. Then cruciferous vegetables, such as cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, and then of course berries, which are rich in antioxidants that help fight off free radicals in our body. Some additional information for an anti-cancer lifestyle uh, means that you should be avoiding processed sugar, uh, limiting processed flours, avoiding toxins and known carcinogens, and then also avoiding processed convenience foods, which is very uh, countercultural in the American culture, but really important if you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle. So the cause of cancer is still somewhat of a mystery and therefore we're always finding new information and the information that we do have is not set in stone, it's subject to change. So we're still learning a lot about this modern disease and um, therefore 
what we learn about it continues to grow and change. But what we do know is that diet and lifestyle can have a profound impact on tumor cell growth and also metastasis, which can prevent the disease from forming as well as slow the progression of the disease. So as scientists continue to learn more about cancer, the information is subject to change. Uh, it's important to remember that cancer is a modern day disease, mostly. Um, so looking back to the way that our ancestors lived is a good place to start. Um, so what kinds of things did they eat? What kinds of things did they not eat? Um, what kinds of things were they not exposed to that we are exposed to now on a daily basis? Um, and then what are some ways that we can kind of detoxify our bodies from, from those um, sometimes un unavoidable exposures to toxins and things like that just, just because we live in a modern society? So what are some ways that we can kind of help our bodies to get rid of those toxins? So diet and lifestyle choices matter profoundly. And the cool thing is that we have power to make choices uh, for better or for worse. So if we desire to live a healthy lifestyle, we can make good choices that will promote that. Um, so we need to choose well to be well. Thank you.